So a couple of weeks ago, I was talking to a friend and they were like, have you tried Groover for pitching your songs to playlists? And I was like, no, I haven't. I'd heard of them, but I hadn't really tried it before. I mean, there's kind of a lot of options out there for having, if you have a new single and you want to pitch it to playlists, like not the official Spotify playlist, but other user generated playlists that can actually generate quite a few streams for you. Part of your album release campaign or your single campaign should be pitching one song or multiple singles over the course of the pre-release campaign to these playlist curators out there. But how do you find these playlist curators? How do you vet them? How do you know which ones to spend your money on to send your tracks to? That's always a big stress of mine when I'm releasing a new single. And so my friend was telling me about Groover and I wanted to try it out for myself because I think it's important that I try everything out with my own tunes just to see how it all works. But there's a problem. I don't have a new single coming out. I don't have anything in the works. And so I actually thought this might make an even cooler video if I try to pitch an old song. In fact, the song that I'm pitching is about 10 years old. It literally is 10 years old. A lot of us, especially record labels and a lot of us indie artists have these back catalog songs. And this song has done really well. In fact, it still gets like uh, maybe a couple thousand streams a day over the past 10 years, which is incredible. So there's no reason why it shouldn't be put on people's playlists today. However, we always just think that like, curators and bloggers and everybody just wants what's new. And that's probably true on social media and maybe some blogs. But let's see if we can get some curators using Groover to consider a song that's 10 years old, a catalog track, an old tune, and see if we can get it placed on some playlists. So let's dive in and take a look. Okay, so let's get this track entered. The, the track title is called Slow Down. And like I mentioned, it's a catalog song so it's from the past it's from actually from 2013 <laughs> over a year ago um it's in english um okay so i grabbed a link from youtube but let me see I just want to make sure i get the other links from spotify etc okay there's a spotify track and that's probably going to grab the links for everything else which is pretty good Okay, the album's called A Long Life. That's helpful. It's always nice for people to see the album cover. Just make sure that's my album, not a fraudulent one. Okay, let's go and see if we can pick some curators and pros. Uh, genres. Okay, they're already suggesting genres for me. That's cool. Okay, so here's our um, indie folk uh, singer-songwriter. Uh, I just want to take a second here to update my profile. For some reason, grab my record label name. I'm not sure how that happened. Maybe I set this up earlier. Maybe I was setting it up thinking I was just going to be the record label, but I'm going to just set this up right now to be the artist name. All right. So just uploaded a picture. There's my beautiful face, my country, my artist name. Um, yep. It grabbed all of these characteristics for me. That's really cool. I'm going to drop in my social. I don't know how much of this is necessary. But it doesn't hurt, right? If some, if a curator really digs this song and wants to kind of dive in more, you got to give them these options. So I'm just going to put them in there now. Um, I don't have any news right now. I'm going to just kind of like copy and paste from other web pages I have. I, I'm just not going to worry with that too much. I'm not going to worry too much about the, the bio and stuff. I'm going to just assume they're maybe not looking into me too much. Let's do a cover photo here. I think I have a big photo I can use. Okay, I don't I'm not going to worry about this too much. This is I just want to make sure like I kind of check some of the boxes here just in case like curators don't pick me. Maybe it's because like oh, maybe I didn't fill in a banner or whatever. So, I'm just going to make sure it looks like I'm an active artist and not like a fake account. So, there's like old press photos whatever. You might want to do this a little nicer than me, <laughs> a little bit more comprehensive. Okay, so here are the curators that match my filter. So, Presumably, these are the people that like indie folk and singer-songwriter stuff, and you can kind of see that. So I've never seen this laid out like this. It's kind of neat and tidy. Okay, and so look, it has like Groover coin. So add for two, add for six. So I'm just reading them here. And okay, artists and drifters, they have a high answer rate. Um, unhappier. Okay, let's look here. We're going to read a little bit about them. Oh, I can see their playlists. Okay, let's let's add them. See how that goes. That's cool. Um, so basically, I'm looking for... Oh, yeah, let's just add these here. Let's just add these. I feel like if they like my genre, um, 
then let's do it. And that two coins is not too much. Uh, sad rainy day. Yep. That's like definitely going to work. Uh, I have to, I'd like to maybe peek at some of their playlists. Um, but let's go through here and I wonder if I can just take a peek at their playlist. Oh yeah. Look at that. Sad songs, album material. So that's like definitely up my alley and, and it has 10,000 likes. So that's, that's a really good number. So let's go ahead and add them. And so you can see more stats about them when you click on them. So I think I'll click on them and just learn a little bit about it. It's nice that like everything that I've added has already been saved. So if I click through to one of these playlists and read about them, this is 46,000 likes, best acoustic guitar songs. All right. This song is pretty acoustic-y, so let's give it a shot. You never know. Alto Key, I've seen him before on, on Submit Hub, done some of my stuff before. So it's four. It's a little bit more money, but... Let's do that. Uh, Alex Rainbird is 10. That's like a ton of money. Now, they've they've actually already featured this song years ago, so I won't bother them again. Uh, certified playlist. Let's take a look. Higher answer rate, high sharing rate. Um, hmm. I don't know. Sunset Chill Out. This doesn't look like it's for me. That's not... My music is not like beachy music. So I don't think that applies. A&R Guru. Uh, Loop Solitaire. It's got a cool logo. Let's see what their playlist says. Okay, this is a lot of stuff. Oh yeah, for sure. I can just tell by the playlist covers that they're going to be relevant to me. Oh, look, it grays it out once I've added it. That's nice. What else we got? Um, okay, a new media outlet from Ukraine. They like indie folk. I don't see any playlists here. So I don't know what they would do. What do they do with the music? Are they a blog? They seem to, they want to receive music similar to, these These aren't, these aren't my, yeah. Well, let's give it a try. Let's see what happens. You never know. I'm kind of just throwing everything at the wall. You might want to be a little bit more specific. Sounds new, sounds good. That's cool blog title. Do we have playlists? Uh, I don't know. I'm really looking for playlists here because I can kind of measure playlists and I can measure the success of playlists because I can see it in Spotify for Artists that, such and such playlist has given me, you know, so many songs this past month or whatever. Sounds on the couch. Yeah, this looks cool. This looks cool. These are nice. I really like the way this is laid out for long walks. That sounds like me. I'm not even going to look. They have a playlist. That sounds like me. <laughs> Indie Folk Central. I know those guys. They've featured my music in the past. I'm looking for some stuff that I've never seen before, you know, like some curators and stuff that are a little bit uh, more unique. Oh, it looks like some sound expert. What's that? Oh, and label. Interesting. So you can maybe like just get feedback, just basic, just pay two coins for like basic feedback on your mix. Do you think? That's kind of cool. Uh, so these guys accept a little bit of everything. Looks like they like all kinds of music. I don't think that's, I want to be a little bit more targeted, you know, like, on indie folk music. Exactly. That's super targeted. I know that I am indie folk. I'm kind of like unique indie folk, like a little bit electronic. So I feel like as we kind of scroll, it gets maybe a little less relevant to me. Is that true? Like I felt like the top relevant ones were up higher. I've, I've selected 13 pros so far. I'm spent 28 coins, folk, rock, alchemist. That's definitely up my alley. So now I've spent 30 coins. I'm not sure how many I'm going to do here because I want to do this with a new song too. Like I'm I'm doing a catalog song right now. So, um, oh, look, you have the option to add all. Let's see. Can we do some other filtering here maybe? Okay, playlists. I, I see, I'm really keen on playlists and I want to make sure they're top curators. Okay, so, okay. So let's see some people like maybe this helps rearrange some things. Let's take a look at Big Sun Records. Folk finds Big Sun, 1,000 likes. Okay, let's see what happens with that. That seems nice. Another Love Vibes. What did they have? 54,000. That's interesting. I'm not sure that playlist looked relevant to me. My, this isn't a love song, actually. It's a life song. Okay, here's a playlist curator. Whoa, those are cool. Those are cool. Yeah. Maybe I'll fit on one of your playlists. Maybe. I don't know. Worth a shot. Okay. Okay. I'm pretty happy with that. I I, I feel like I want to just like pitch the track now and see 
how it goes. I can always come back. I've got, I've got other coins. I can always come back and do other people. Maybe I'll save some coins for a brand new song because this is an old tune. It's my most popular song, Slow Down, about how fast life goes by. I'm just giving a little pitch here. I don't know if they read these. Um, because it's a catalog song, it's done really well over the past 10 years. So I want to just kind of brag about that and say it has over 3 million plays on Spotify. I don't know how many of these curators are kind of exclusive to new tracks only, but if, or if they'll consider an old song, it's not old though. You know what I mean? Like people listen to it every day. Like it's not like old, like classic indie rock or like classic rock, you know, it doesn't sound dated in my opinion. So I'm just, I'm just saying like being humble, just saying, I hope it works for you. And I get it if it doesn't, you know, okay, look, you can add personalized messages. That's really cool to each curator. Cause it's like, if you see one of their playlists and it's like, by the way, my song would fit perfectly on your playlist. You can actually shout out their playlist in like a personalized pitch. Everything looks good. I've got my pitch. I'm not doing any customized pitches. Uh, some other people. Oh, cool. They're just recommending like some last minute ones if you want to add it. Okay, let's go ahead and launch the campaign. Okay, so it's been a couple of weeks, maybe a month or so since I ran this campaign. I have some really cool results. I was really impressed with how it went. I'm going to share all that with you. I'm going to let you see my screen and show some of the results. Honestly, I think the thing that I was so excited and so encouraged by was the fact that this was an old song. It was a catalog track. It's 10 years old. And yet people still wanted to put it to their playlist, which makes a lot of sense because if you're just like a passive music listener and you're listening to a playlist like Cozy Afternoons or Cabin Fireside, you're not really concerned with like when each song was released or how old it is. I get that that's kind of the case with bloggers and curators like uh, at the publication level because maybe they want to seem like they're on the ball. But like when it comes to passive listeners and people just listening to music, we don't care, right? We don't care. Anyway, so I'm going to try this soon with a new track, but I don't think it'll make any difference because if people like the old track, then like it's only going to do great for a new track. So let's dive in and let me show you the results. Okay, so I'm on my home screen here in Groover and I'm going to go to my campaigns. I've only done one campaign before. And so here you see like some updates and I was getting updates when this track went out. Okay, as you can see here, this is campaign one that I did with the song Slow Down. And I can tell that I, based on this, it looks like I sent it to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 uh, people. It looks like three people didn't respond. So these people, like they were just busy. It was a bad time of year. I don't even know if they listened. And I was refunded those uh, groovits. So I was refunded uh, four which is cool. No, sorry, eight, which is good, right? So, okay, so let's remove those. So now that means we only have 13 people that we submitted to. And look at this number. This is insane. We had six shares and one promise to share. So this one here for long, for long walks to say, beautiful track here, buddy. Very well done. I love the instrumentation and vocals. You did an amazing job. Oh, I think this is waiting for me. This is probably in still in promise to share because I had to send them a high res wave file and I only did that just a couple of weeks ago. So they're maybe still going to share it uh, on their YouTube channel. So that's seven positives out of 13. What's that number? That's more than 50%. That is really good. I was really, really happy with that. I think the biggest reason, um, obviously the song's amazing, but I think the biggest reason is like, I was really careful with who I submitted to. Um, I wasn't really careful. I've been more selective in the past, but I was like looking through and going, okay, no, they have a playlist, but more importantly, they have a playlist that sounds like my song should be on it. Whether they agree or not is not up to me, but at least the album cover or the playlist cover and the other songs and the other artists on that playlist are relevant to my music. So I'm like, this makes a lot of sense. This is the type of playlist and, and curator that I should be pitching to. So that's going to increase your success if you're being really targeted with who you pitch to. Don't waste money by like throwing everything at the board and seeing what sticks. You really have to be intentional. So I got seven out of 13. I got to do that quick math. 54%. Does that sound right? <laughs> that doesn't sound right. It still seems low. I think it's 54%. I was really happy with that. Really, really happy. Okay. So let's look at some of the responses that I got. Remember, um, we go back to this one that I just showed you. 
I had this little pitch that said, this is my most popular song. I think I let them know it has over 3 million streams on Spotify. I was doing that because I wanted to show a bit of credibility to be like, you should actually include this song in your playlist because people really like it. It's like social proof. And I was bragging, but I also wanted them to know, like, by the way, this is kind of an old song. They don't know that it's 10 years old. They could do that research. So this person responded and said, beautiful track here, buddy. Very well done. I love the instrumentation and vocals. Cool. So he's asking for a wave file. Um, I imagine that's because they're going to, I don't know what they're going to do with it. I, I think probably put it on a YouTube playlist. So we'll have to follow up and see if they do that. They have this promise to share. So I'm guessing that after a certain amount of time, if they don't post the link proving they've shared the song, that I get refunded that. That's my guess. I, I don't know if that's true, but I would imagine I would get credited for that groove it's if, if, um, if they don't end up doing that. But I'm sure they'll get around to it. So let's look at the, um, let's go back to the very, so we have these three that were ignored. Let's go in, in, in this order. So the first response was this Phaeton music. Hi, uh, very sweet song here. We'll add it to my sadness playlist on Spotify right now. And then they sent me a link. So here's the playlist that they put me on. It has a thousand likes, which is pretty good. It's updated pretty recently, a week ago. I think it has a lot of songs, 150 songs, but that's not so bad. And there's my song right there. Nice. I probably should rate them. I'm going to give them five stars. Let's see what's next. And I bet you too, like, it looks like here there's a bookmark. Save to list. So I could save these people. And I can actually make a list and say, you know, these are the people that um, supported this song or supported this artist. If I'm a record label, I'm going to create a list of curators in the past who have been friendly to a certain type of genre or to a certain artist on my roster. That makes your promotion process a lot easier when you go to do their next record or their next single or somebody else on your label uh, who sounds like that artist. Okay, so that was my first yes. My first no, I've submitted to this guy before. Okay, by the way, just full disclosure, I don't read the the no's. So if I get a decline, it's in this in this uh, platform, it's called feedback. Feedback means eh, and uh, share means good. That's why feedback is red and share is, is beautiful blue and green. Uh, when I see feedback, I don't want feedback. I just want you to put it on your playlist or to say goodbye. Because I, this song is 10 years old, so there's no feedback that I need from this. And by the way, it's got 4 million streams. So even if you're going to give me some feedback on the kick drum or whatever, the song's long done and it's doing just fine. So I just, I know that they're kind of required to give feedback. I know that some people out there actually like feedback. There's some musicians and record labels who want to know if they're on the right track with their stuff. I saw some accounts in here you could submit to just for feedback alone. So I get that some of you actually will build off of that and take it as encouragement. For me, it's like a slap in the face and I can't handle it. I'm too weak. So uh, Alto Key says, I, I can't remember if I read this, beautiful ambient sound to this one, but a bit too dreamy folk for what I'm looking for personally. Anyway, this is, um, I, I'm not, and then he goes on to criticize the lyrics a little bit. I'm not going to, I did read that at the time and then I decided to stop reading these. But like the best type of feedback that you want is someone just to say, this doesn't fit on my playlist. And it's like, okay, that's great. That's objective. That's like, you saying, I have a certain sound for my playlist and this doesn't meet that certain sound. Okay, I can't argue with that. Moving on, on Indie Folk, this is more feedback. Didn't, you know what? Now I'm going to read it. So that's a no. <laughs> you can read it if you want. Uh, album material, here's a yes. Really cool song. It perfectly matches our playlist. We're definitely adding it. And we will, and we hope it will help you generate loads of streams. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, great. Let's rate them. Thank you. High impact, blah, blah, blah. Shared quickly. Nice people. Okay. Thank you, album material. That was really nice. So already by well, two days into this campaign, I had had two yeses and two no's. So I was feeling pretty good. That's 50-50. A uh, sad, rainy day. I mean, come on. My music is so sad and rainy. Uh, so this said, hi, Scott. I love this tune. I'd love to share it on my sad, rainy day playlist. You know what? I should have really gone in here after and said thank you. I didn't really see an option to do that. I probably should have. Um, I probably should have done that. Save to your curator list. I'm going to do that. Let's do, um, I'm going to do create a list. I'm going to say slow down. I'll know what that means because, so this is people that have shared this song, slow down. So in the future, if I have another song that sounds like slow down, I'm going to have these people on that list and I'm just going to, I'm going to pay them. I'm going to be like, yes, I like you. Okay. So we've got uh, three yeses, two no's. Here's another no feedback. I like the production. Very nice guitar, blah, blah, blah. I'm leaving you. Okay. Uh, folk rock alchemist. 
This person just said, I think it's a bit too slow paced for my playlist. That's cool. You know what? I was burning through these people's playlists quickly. I didn't do much research. If I had like listened to their playlist for an hour, then maybe I would have realized actually my song's a little bit too mellow for them. And that's happened before. That's happened before. I thought based on the album cover or based on the playlist cover and based on the title of the playlist, I thought, oh, my song's going to do really well on there. And it didn't. So, but then you listen to it and you realize, no, 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 the songs don't really, the songs are a little bit more peppier than I thought the playlist was about. So I get that. That's fine. Dazzle Lyrics says, thanks for sending me your track. Absolutely beautiful song. I added it to my playlist and they share the playlist. Okay. I'm just taking the second to rate these people here because I don't know what it does for them or what it does for Groover, but I just want to win. Hopefully it does something nice for them. That was really, really kind for them. So another positive Remember big sun records. We, we sent to them. Uh, I don't think it quite aligns with the sound on our folk playlist. So like, okay, I'm going to say, yeah, thanks. Honest, kind, that's the kind of feedback I want because I'm not looking for these people to help craft the type of music I make. I don't think that's healthy. If you do that, that's totally fine. Um, but for me, I'm not looking for that type of feedback. I just want to know, does it fit on your radio station? Like a lot of these curators are creating a brand around their playlist in the same way that like a Instagram influencer creates like a kind of a look and feel to their overall Instagram account. I think some of these curators are trying to do the same thing with their playlists. And I come along, share this song. I think it might fit. I'm gonna, I just want plays. So of course I think it's gonna fit. But for them, like they have a very specific sound they're looking for. So I appreciate when just somebody says it's not for me. Here's another um, f- negative feedback. Thanks for the song, not a bad composition, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, again. Commenting on the the mix and on the instruments, don't I just don't need that. I don't need that. <laughs> That's okay. We're still doing good. I was still really happy. And like at this point now, I was still at 50-50. And then the last three responses were were all positive. So that made this campaign like tip in the balance. Honestly, if you I, I can't speak for Groover, I don't know for other people have used this, but like if you're running a campaign and you submit to 10 people, and if you have a good track, like it's a good track and you're submitting to relevant really relevant curators and playlists, then I think like anything between 20 to 40% positive response is really healthy. And it's really normal, right? I mean, that's just like, if you ask 10 people to buy your product and one person or two people said yes, that's an incredible response rate. So, I mean, even email open rates are like 20 to 30% on the high side. So, If you submit to 10 curators and two say yes, maybe three, you're doing really, really well. So the fact that I I got seven out of 13 yeses, um, that blew my mind. And that's like far above what I should expect. The new song I'm working on that is kind of weirdish, I'm it may not, it may not fit on people's playlists. And so I might get more negatives from that one. This is kind of a tried and tested tune. So Um, but anyway, let's look at unhappier. Thank you for being here. It is a beautiful song and would love to share it on sad and chill. Thank you so much. Love you for long walks said, and gosh, like, come on, the song's called slow down. It's got this like mid tempo pace to it. Is it for long walks? hundred percent. So it should be on your playlist. And they agree. Beautiful track here, buddy. Very well done. I love the instrumentation vocals. You did an amazing job. Okay. And this is the one. Yeah. This is the one that is probably a YouTube thing. I don't know. I don't really know. Look at you are one of the 2% of artists for whom long walks has made a promise to share. That's pretty good. Is it? That's good. And then finally, artists and drifters, your song has been added. If you'd like to extend your play for an additional four weeks, simply give the list of play in the next 30 days and renew here. All right, whatever. I'm not sure what that is, but that's cool. Okay. Very cool. So yeah, I'm I'm really, really encouraged by this. I'm really impressed. And the whole process was simple. I have a lot more credits to use up. And so I'm going to work on a new track. I think the most, um, the biggest breakthrough, and I want you all to hear this, is that we did this with an old song, with a catalog track. That's not supposed to be how it works. Remember, like everybody is looking for what's new and what's exciting. And a lot of us record labels, and even indie artists, we have songs that we're still proud of. And we have songs that we still think could apply to a lot of different playlists and could apply to a lot of different sync deals and 
Yet for some reason, we have to always be working on what's new. And it feels like culture and the media is focused on what's new. So I was really pleased with using Groover to promote an old, old track. I've got tons of old tracks. I kind of want to do more of this. Um, but I'm going to try out uh, in a couple of weeks with a new song or a couple months with a new song. But anyway, click the link below to check out Groover. And I mean, you've seen me use it. This was my first time using it. I had re only recently just heard about it. So you're kind of learning with me at the same time. Uh, and I think you should give it a try. Thanks for watching.